Would you dare venture into the ocean knowing this creature could be lurking beneath you? It's twice the size of a T-Rex, its massive jaws can crush cars, and it's capable of swallowing multiple humans in one go. This ancient predator is known as the Megalodon shark, and if it hadn't gone extinct, it would have drastically altered our relationship with the ocean. How would it affect our use of the seas? How much of a danger would it pose to humanity? And is it possible these colossal creatures have been hiding in the depths of our oceans all along? Over the years, countless reports of megalodon sightings have surfaced online. Many suggest these enormous sharks never really went extinct but have been lurking in the deepest parts of the ocean, like the Mariana Trench. While it's impossible to dive that far to confirm, scientists argue there's overwhelming evidence to dismiss these claims. If megalodon still existed, we would undoubtedly have noticed by now, and our oceans would be far more perilous. Here's why we're confident these massive sharks haven't been hiding from us. To start, if megalodon sharks were still roaming the seas, the Mariana Trench would be one of the last places they'd go. These sharks were warm water creatures, meaning the freezing temperatures of the trench would make survival there impossible. Furthermore, if such enormous predators still existed, we'd see their signature bite marks on other large marine animals. By now, we would have also discovered at least one carcass or skeleton, but this has never occurred. The only evidence we've recovered of these prehistoric giants is their teeth, and we've found plenty. Megalodon teeth are easy to discover because these sharks produced a staggering number of them. Unlike humans, who grow teeth only during early development, sharks continuously generate new sets throughout their entire lives, shedding teeth roughly every two weeks. These discarded teeth would settle on the ocean floor, often becoming fossilized. Over a megalodon's lifetime, it's estimated they went through around 40,000 teeth. That leaves behind a substantial number of remains for us to uncover. However, because we've never found a complete megalodon skeleton, much about them remains a mystery. Here's what we do know, megalodon sharks first appeared approximately 16 million years ago, dominating the oceans as apex predators. Measuring anywhere from 10 to 18 meters, these giants hunted a wide range of prey, including fish, dolphins, and even whales. Then, about 2 million years ago, they vanished from the planet, and scientists are still debating the reasons. One hypothesis suggests they went extinct due to diminishing food sources and rising competition for prey. Another theory speculates that cooling ocean temperatures and prey migration to colder waters made survival difficult for megalodons. Whatever the cause of their extinction, it's fascinating to imagine how different our oceans would be if they had survived. A megalodon is thought to have consumed roughly 1,100 kilograms of food daily. If they were still around, they would have devastated populations of large fish, leaving little for humans. The fishing industry would face additional challenges, as megalodons might follow fishing vessels and snatch their catches, much like some killer whales do today. With rising ocean temperatures, megalodons would thrive and reproduce, leading to an even larger population of these immense predators. This would spell disaster for maritime activities, from shipping and cruise travel to recreational beach swimming. Megalodons gave birth in warm, shallow waters, turning our favorite beach destinations into hazardous zones. What would our planet look like if no species had ever gone extinct? Perhaps one day, we'll have the technology to bring back ancient creatures and find out, but that's a story for another time.